so good day everyone and welcome to my channel where we make structural engineering design simple and easy my name is Olodu Konyedi and I'm your host I want to say a very big thank you to everyone that has subscribed to this channel particularly this week I appreciate everyone the 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 comments were great the subscribing way was also great so i want to say a big thank you to all who are subscribed and if you are yet to subscribe please click the subscribe button so that when next to put up videos like this you will be notified we have great comments a lot a lot of questions and a lot of encouraging words i want to say i appreciate each and every one of you who has taken your time to comment and appreciate this awesome work that we've been doing we had a subscriber named shinte febiti you didn't tell us where you are where you are commenting from but we appreciate that comment and also we have um again the steven again the stevens you didn't also tell us where you are commenting from please whenever you're commenting please tell us where you are commenting from it will encourage us to know that yes our our videos or our training is reaching you where you are your comment said sir thanks a lot i appreciate your excellent explanation mostly on scaling Prota structure finish work in AutoCAD. Please, sir, I can't find the link you said we should follow and download a drawing file, an AutoCAD file. Um, uh, Stephen, the file is there, but what I would do because people have been asking about the file, but if you go through the this video, I will still upload that file again this video i will upload a link at the description so you click and follow the link when you request for access when you click the google the google drive um, sheets it will request for um, assets and once you send that i will grant you access and you can get the file please i'll put up the link again in this video so that you can have access to that autocad file so we say once again steven we appreciate you potasco potarasa i appreciate you from thailand i appreciate you sir you say thank you so much i appreciate you too olai wala olai wala tunde you didn't tell us where you are commenting from you didn't tell us where you are commenting from you say please can you design a fully a full duplex with cantilever we, um today we have done that please go through our and um, go through our videos and based on the comments that we've been getting and uh, mails that we've been getting we are doing a course hopefully very soon the course where you can assess everything in just one one um, online course is an online course that we are collating that all the questions and everything about Prota structure de design and detailing of reinforced concrete we are putting up a very detailed online course very soon so just pay attention to this um, platform very soon we'll put out the course where you don't have to go back to different videos and be looking for everything will be collected as one and you can easily get it with different titles and you can just assess it straight so please watch out for this soon soon it will be out and when it's out i will let you know 
and um, um, we have Morana Mola Kone. You didn't tell us where you are commenting from. Morana Molo Kone. You said awesome tutorial. I'm definitely subscribing to the month to month course. Um, Morana, we are doing an online course where you can get it once. Is a once um, um, uh, subscribing to that online course. It's it's is a one once online course and is a detailed um, course. Soon we are bringing it out. So just pay attention and you will be the first to know. Also, we have another subscriber said the name is Budaba Katimi. Budaba, Budaba can tell me. You didn't tell us where you are commenting from. Please, whenever you're commenting, please tell us where you are commenting from. It will help us a great deal. You said, please help me to explain how you get value for dead loads for slab to that if it's added manually. Okay, we will be taking, we'll be answering this on this video. How to create, um, we'll, we'll say how to create cantilever. We've done that before. And also how to, to add your value for your dead load and your life load on your slab. Okay, let's proceed. So the first thing we do, this we've we've done similar things like this so please check your the other videos that we've done they, they they we've explained that so i won't really go in detail so if the first thing you need to do in um tunde or lai wala tunde in designing your duplex or any structure um, the first thing you need to do is your cantil uh, your your grid lines so we we can do if please check our other videos how to import from autocad but now we, we are not importing we'll just use the auto generate the auto generate um, grid lines you click and if this is what you want if this is what you want this thing shows that it will be five meter but now i'm reducing it to four meter three and three places we say okay so this is it this is now four meter four meter four meter in three place four meter four meter four meter in three place and um, we take our column we say 230 by 230 230 by 230 so you fix your columns your columns fix our column so please pay attention if you know you will have a cantilever two ways of doing a cantilever either you do a cantilever beam or a cantilever slab Either you do a cantilever beam or a cantilever slab, but I prefer doing cantilever beams because it's it's much more um, it has more resistance to carry load. So what you need to do is the part where your your cantilever will be create create a analysis there. Right click offset. Um, to offset you do F2 by clicking function F2 and now let's say our cantilever is 1000 you click so we've done that we can either do you pick your beams 230 by 230 please check our previous videos I won't really explain much here we can do this check our other videos where i took took my time to explain 
to explain it very well okay so we've gotten this good now we create slab so um budaba can timmy budaba can timmy you say please how help help me to explain how you get value for dead load for slab to that when it's added so um budaba please pay attention and every other person please pay attention click on your slab icon this dialog box will pop this is the thickness of your slab you are using 150 you are using 150 for your load come to load when you come to load the self weight is already this then the dead added dead load you click here if this is a roof flat roof or a beam or terrace balcony or lower slab or server but now we take room it's this it automatically adds this to it or you can choose to add it yourself you can choose to add it yourself if you want to mm. you can choose to add it yourself if if you want to add it if you want to add the value yourself just just click on enter value here but if you put roof and uh, room it automatically add this but if you want to add your value yourself you can add it here or i prefer just putting room then if you come to impose load right click it will bring out the different life load cases the different life load for you to use but if it's a, a duplex you can for private use um, you just click on this it's automatically puts 1.5 so you click click so come to general so for the cantilever if you want to do cantilever you come to this part where they write type one you will see the different uh, shape of beams and the shapes of slab you can click on this particular one then this is a cantilever length l is a cantilever length let's say we are doing let's say we are doing 1.2 click on the parts it will go then show it and it automatically draws it so there are different ways that you can do it you can either do it this pattern if you have any question please put it down on the comment this pattern you can either do it this way hmm? you can either do it this way or you can either use a beam you can choose to use a beam as a cantilever this shows you there is a cantilever is a cantilever beam you can choose to do it this way a cantilever then you can add your slab if you click on this lab right click property it automatically takes it so this are the two ways that most time i use for getting my my cantilever so you can either do it this way or you do it this this other way you save your work save your work after that so this is the way you can design then also okay let's just do something quickly you come to insert since is a duplex 
you insert to please go to our, our previous videos i explained how we got that too you say okay uh-huh i'm not here yeah, we can now come back here generate target if you were confused check our previous videos and this is it so if we choose to view it on a 3d on a 3d this is what we we get so this is what we will get this is our cantilever then <clears throat> if you want to add if you want to add your columns if you want to add columns to this come back here come to plan if you if you add column at this level if you add column at this level it starts any level you are in adding your column that we did the top but if you want your column to start from first floor then go to your roof or the the floor above it then add your column add your column add your column so automatically if you do this let's look at it in 3d let's look at it now so this is how it works it will come out so if you have anything you want to columns that you don't want it to start from from the ground this is how you do it this is how you do it so um we will stop here for now so this is just to show you how um what some of our subscribers ask and this is how you can add dead load to your slab and also create cantilever for your duplex or any beam or any structure you are you are doing so um Olaiwala and uh, Budaba, Budaba, this is how you solve that problem. So if you still have any question, we'll stop here for now. If you still have any question, please put down your comments and we will be glad to respond to you and to answer it as soon as we have the available chance to do that so we say thank you please if you if you have been benefiting and you've not subscribed please hit the subscribe button that is the only way you can show us that yes we are doing a good work that you like and is the only way you can appreciate us very well so click the subscribe button until we push the until we see next time remain blessed thanks